Well, hi, I'm Byron Wayne, and I'm a school teacher. And at the beginning of every school year, a bunch of enthusiastic teachers come together for two days of mandatory meetings. And during those two days, that early enthusiasm is systematically beaten out of you. So on the first day of school, a bunch of enthusiastic students are greeted by teachers with frowns and fretful looks, all thinking to themselves, I have got to do this for another 180 days. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Now the first day of these mandatory meetings, nothing but burdensome rules and regulations related to accountability. The second day is a healthy combination of obvious crap, surprising crap, and useful information. Now an example of obvious crap. Never have fun or make fun at a student's expense. It is wrong and insensitive to go up to a student that is severely stuttering and say something like, let's get ready to mumble. No crap. And turns out, no crap is something you should never say to a student that accidentally injured themselves anally and now has to wear a colostomy bag. And, and if you, right now, are thinking to yourself, what are the odds of that? <laughs> you do not know my students. <laughs> oh, Lordy. An example of surprising crap. Did you know that in the state of Nevada, it is against the law for a teacher to have sex with a 16 or 17 year old student? Unless, there actually is an unless. And the unless freaked me out even more than the fact that there is an unless. And it's unless the teacher and student are married. And it doesn't even specify to each other. I thought, when the hell was that statute written? Back when Nevada was still part of Utah? And then there's the useful information. Intervention strategies to deal with bullying and harassment. Because there is way too much hatred, homophobia, and racism in this world. And the quicker you can nip it in the bud, the better. Now almost everybody is aware of Alabama and Mississippi's racist past, but are you aware of their homophobic present? The legislators in Alabama have actually proposed a bill that if passed would require all homosexuals to sit in the front of all airplanes, all buses, and all trains. They want to make it very clear they do not want homosexuals walking down the aisle. <laughs> and Mississippi, Mississippi's so homophobic, they are actually thinking about changing the name of their state. They're thinking about changing it from Mississippi to Mr. and Mississippi. Speaking of name changes, things have gotten so bad in Detroit they had to declare bankruptcy. Now their town name might get downgraded from Detroit to f -troit. And one thing that gets weirder every single school year are students' names. Got this Hawaiian girl. Her last name is May, M-A-Y. Her first name is Michaela Makialohalani. 20 freaking letters. <laughs> Try getting that in the grade book's little name rectangle. <laughs> and this last year, we had this military couple come and enroll their students into our school. Both retired military, 20 years. So they gave their kids military names. The girl's name is Flotilla, and the boy's Brigade. Flotilla and Brigade Evan. 
But they don't like it pronounced Evan. They like it pronounced Evan because they are proud evangelicals. So I got to thinking about this. Of all the evangelicals I know, these evangelicals actually have a flotilla and a brigade, making them the only evangelicals I know actually prepared for Armageddon. <laughs> now I think I'll end with a public service announcement. Now I'm not a prejudiced person, but anytime you get a telephone call from an unknown caller and the person on the other end is talking to you like this, it does not matter at all what they say. What they say is totally irrelevant. What you have got to hear is, hello, I am going to try to steal as much of your money as I possibly can. Please give me your money. And then hang the freaking damn phone up. Thanks a lot, everybody.